Hi, this is ROC Boss. Today we're going to continue to talk about the second half of the Burma campaign. This is a glorious battle in which the number of casualties among the Chinese troops was lower than that of the Japanese. This battle was jointly participated in by China, the United States and Britain. China's goal was to open the Lido Road so that resources could enter China again by land. The situation in World War II was very different from a year ago. As the situation on the European battlefield changed, Britain and the United States began to put more thought into the Asian front. The Battle of Northern Burma and Western Yunnan started in late October 1943. Prior to this, the Japanese troops occupying large areas west of the New River attempted to cross the river many times, but they were blocked by the 71st Corps of the NRA. In December 1942, the Chinese army in India organized the new First Army under the planning of Chiang Kai-shek with Sheng Dong Gao as the commander and Sun Li Jian as the deputy commander. The Republic of China also used the US Air Force to replenish the Chinese troops in India and equip them with new weapons with the assistance of the US Army. In February 1943, the second Chinese expeditionary force was also established in Yunnan with Chen Cheng as the commander and the introduction of American instructors to actively train and prepare to launch a counter-offensive against the Japanese in northern Burma. In March 1943, the 38th Division of the X-Force, this being the Chinese army in India, was instructed to enter the Kachin Hills from Lido, India. This was in order to cover the construction of the Lido Road by the Chinese and American troops. This secret mission continued onwards until October, and in August 1943, the training of X-Force and the Expeditionary Forces was completed. The units were ready for combat. At this time, Britain, the United States and the ROC formed the Southeast Asia Allied Command. British Navy Marshal Mountbatten was the Commander-in-Chief of the Allied Forces, and US General Stilwell was the Deputy Commander-in-Chief, establishing a counter-attack plan. In October 1943, the counter-attack of the X-Force, codenamed Anakim, began. On October 24th, the 38th and 22nd Divisions marched from the Kachin Hills and launched a surprise attack on the Japanese army at Xingbuang, the largest station in the Hukang Valley. The two armies engaged in fierce fighting, and on October 29th, the 38th Division captured Xingbuang, and the IJ 18th Division immediately sent out the 55th Regiment to reinforce, but this was repelled by the X-Force. Under the orders of Stilwell, X-Force pushed the Japanese to Dalo again, and the Lido Road opened to Xingbuang on January 1st, 1944. With this, the headquarters also moved here. However, Chen Cheng, commander of the Chinese Expeditionary Force, was sick at the time, so Wei Li Huang took over as commander. In March 1944, the Japanese army attempted to send troops to Infal to contain the Allied offensive in northern Burma. The Allied Southeast Asia Theatre Command requested the Chinese to support the front, and on March 5th, the X-Force 22nd Division, with the assistance of the 38th Division, surrounded the occupied Menangwan, where the IJ 18th Division was located. The IJ 18th Division was defeated and retreated to Walaobum, and the X-Force 22nd Division, along with the assistance of the 38th, went south quickly and launched a siege attack against Walaobum, an important stronghold of the IGA 18th Division in northern Burma. The X-Force defeated the main force of the IGA 18th Division and seized a large number of weapons, documents and files. This battle was called the Victory of Walaobum. From Menangguang, at this point, the IGA 18th Division had suffered about 4,500 casualties and retreated to Mount Song. On March 14th, the new 1st Army of the X-Force advanced to the front of Muguang Valley. This time, under the Allied plan, the 22nd, 38th, 30th and 50th Divisions of the new 1st Army and the United States Airborne Force besieged Mayetkina and engaged the IGA 114th Regiments of the 18th Division in Mietkina. Finally, 3,000 Japanese soldiers were destroyed by the Allied forces and Amir Kinya was captured and the main point of traffic in northern Burma was reopened. The Allied forces were stationed here for two months to rest and protect Amir Kinya from being reoccupied by the IGA. At this time, in order to facilitate operational command, the new 1st Army was expanded into the new 1st Army and the new 6th Army. San Li Jian was the commander of the new 1st Army and the commander of the new 6th Army was Lao Yaoxiang. The new 1st Army captured Moguang in June and directed the offensive towards Bamo and the Arawadi rivers in an attempt to repulse the Japanese army. 
to prevent the enemy from having a chance to counterattack or harass Allied forces. When the X-Force formed the new First Army, the Chinese Expeditionary Force also formed the 11th Army Group and the 20th Army Group in August. While the new First Army launched an attack from northern Burma, they crossed the New River and tried to attack western Yunnan to Chenchong and Longling, defeating all Japanese troops in China and reoccupied La Xiao, completing the Anakim Plan. On May 11, 1944, the 20th Army Group of the Expeditionary Force succeeded in crossing the New River. The 54th Corps of the 20th Army Group launched an offensive against the IJ-148 and 146th Regiment and launched a series of main point battles. The two sides fighting moved near Chenchong. The Chinese Expeditionary Force forced a stalemate with the Japanese. On June 1st, the 11th Army Group also crossed the New River, and the 28th Division of the 11th Army Group laid siege to Mount Song on June 4th. But the solid defense of the 113th Regiment of the IJ 18th Division made the 28th Division fail to attack for a long period of time. On July 1st, the 11th Army Group took over Mount Song with the 8th Corps. The 8th Corps launched nine attacks along the front with the strength of three divisions. On September 7th, 1,300 soldiers of the IJ 113th Regiment were completely annihilated in Mount Song, while the 11th Army Group continued to attack Long Ling. The 54th Corps and Ten Chong also wiped out more than 2,700 Japanese soldiers on September 14th and recovered Chen Chong. This made Tenchong become the first city to be completely recovered since the Second Sino-Japanese War. On October 16th, the new 1st Army and the new 6th Army jointly attacked Barmo. However, Japan launched Operation No. 1 and at this time attacked Dushan, Guizhou from Vietnam. Geyang was in danger, so therefore the new 6th Army transferred from the station to support Geyang, leaving 50th Division to attack Barmo with the new 1st Army. The 11th Army Group of the Chinese Expeditionary Force also captured Long Ling on November 3rd and occupied Mang Shi on November 20th, continuing to attack Wan Ding. Bama was captured by the new 1st Army on December 15th, and on January 15th, 1945, the new 1st Army captured Nankan and the Chinese Expeditionary Forces occupied Wan Ding on January 19th. Eventually, the two armies marched at Mangyu and confronted one another. This symbolizes the complete reopening of northern Burma, and also meant that X-Force could finally return to China by safe passage. On January 28th, 1945, the Lido Road held an opening ceremony in Wanding. At this point, the resources from the Allied forces could finally enter China from the south smoothly again, accelerating the NRA counterattack against the Japanese forces in China. The mission of the Chinese Expeditionary Force was completed, so the troops withdrew and returned to China. However, the offences of X-Forces had not yet completely stopped. The new 1st Army and the 50th Division were divided and headed south. The new 1st Army assaulted Sen Wai and finally occupied La Xiao, and the 50th Division crossed the Arawadi River and was unstoppable. The 50th Division quickly occupied Nam Tu, Shibao and Nanyan, and they quickly advanced 600 kilometers in three months causing the casualties of more than 3,500 IGA soldiers. On March 30th, the X-Force captured Kyakumi and met with the British Army. At this point, the Japanese army located in northern Burma had been completely expelled and the mission of the X-Force had been declared complete. The X-Force triumphantly returned to China and the Battle of Northern Burma and Western Yunnan ended here. This was one of the few moments since the beginning of the Second Sino-Japanese War that the National Army was able to fight evenly against the Japanese Army. In particular, the highly modernized New First Army overwhelmed the enemy under the leadership of General Sun Li Jian with a casualty rate of 1 to 6. It was truly a glorious moment for the National Army in the Second Sino-Japanese War. Of the Japanese forces to enter Burma, few remained and the Burmese government that originally supported Japan also switched to the Allies. In April 1945, the British Army recaptured Mandalay, and the Japanese Army soon abandoned Yangon. Finally, the British Army captured Yangon on May 2nd and announced the full withdrawal of Japanese troops from Burma. This also symbolized the beginning of the Japanese collapse in Asia. Eventually, Japan announced its surrender on August 15th, symbolizing the end of the war. However, the Burmese government also announced its independence from British rule towards the end of the war. 
Do you like our content? If so, please remember to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support us, let us know about the themes of the NRA, the ROC, and the Republic of China that you'd like to see in the future. Feel free to donate through the links below. And thank you for watching.